In the first two story chapters that I previewed last week of Neo, The World Ends With You, the world of Shibuya is balanced comfortably between fresh and wonderfully familiar. I'm introduced immediately to the cautious and straightforward protagonist Rindo and his laid back and cheerful best friend, Fret. A brief prologue sets up their appearances in the UG, or underground, an alternate version of the real world Shibuya where people who have died could win a second chance at life. To get it, they must triumph in the Reaper's Game, a seven-day competition that challenges the deceased with puzzles, challenges, and battles against strange, dark creatures called the Noise. Rindo and Fret, thrown into the UG following a truck accident, become Team Wicked Twisters in a battle to return their lives to normal. RNS? Reaper Networking Service. Be sure to check the official account. Official account? Yes. The team element of Neo immediately sets it apart from its predecessor's isolated, pessimistic hero, Neku. Rindo and Fret, though not without their own troubles, are far more open to forging connections with those thrown into the game with them, making them more immediately endearing. Gotta focus. So what are we thinking here? Early on, they bond with the mysterious Sho Minamimoto, a familiar face from the first game who's clearly got his own motivations for hanging out with two goofy kids. His incessant math puns don't quite land the same now that he's playing for the protagonist's team and not building giant mounds of garbage all over Shibuya, but I'm willing to give him time. What's the probability of you two surviving the game? Um, one zepto percent, if that. Far more interesting are Neo's new characters, like the goth reaper Shoka and the new game master, Shiba. In its opening hours, Neo is at its strongest when it's not leaning too heavily on memories of its aged prequel. While brief glimpses of returning characters like the prince, Eiji Oji, were pleasant treats, I hope that Neo mostly stays away from trying to forge deep lore connections between games and focuses instead on telling the stories of Rindo, Fret, and the friends and enemies they make throughout the Reaper's game. Tied in tightly with the new team structure of the Reaper's game is Neo's combat, which was forced to pivot completely from its split-screen origins. Now, each party member can equip a single pin at a time, each of which is mapped to a different controller button. The types of pin attacks spanning melee slashes, bursts of flame, spikes of ice, long distance beams, and far more will instantly be familiar to veterans of the first game. Using a pin in combat hands the player control of whichever character it's equipped to, allowing quick swaps between close and ranged attacks and fun combo setups. Though the game's early hours weren't enough to assess how deep this new system goes, I was impressed with how natural it all immediately felt despite its on-paper differences from the DS game. In fact, much of Neo felt intimately familiar. It was difficult for me to stay focused on finishing the preview content in the time allotted to me because I was so eager to explore Yuji Shibuya like I had years ago. I kept getting distracted by scanning the thoughts of passersby. I hunted down and defeated a secret pig noise, a rare monster that makes its return in Neo. I chained noise battles together in hopes of winning rare pins off enemies or evolving the ones I had in my arsenal into more powerful and interesting versions. I stopped and stood around in the street multiple times, bouncing in my chair to the incredible soundtrack of both remixed favorites and new tunes. And all that's without even unlocking the food and fashion elements of Neo, which I know were coming but didn't get a chance to see. The opening hours of Neo The World Ends With You are mysterious, energetic, and stylish as hell. All the prerequisites I wanted out of a sequel to a game that was all three throughout. I'm interested in how the combat systems might evolve out of their early simplicity as the game progresses, and I'm a bit tentative about how Neo will balance reintroducing old characters with telling a coherent new story. But right now, I'm confident that Neo The World Ends With You's opening two hours are an exuberant, faithful reintroduction to a fantastical Shibuya I once loved. For more on Neo The World Ends With You, check out the opening cinematic trailer and the release date trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN.